Let's shoot a shot. Welcome to the shooter shot. I shoot at like 80%. Where the hell they do that at? Where the hell they do that at? Welcome to the shooter shack, the shooter shack. I help you make your money back. Like where they do that at? I shoot at 80%. Every Sunday with the kid, I'll make your money back. I shoot at 80%. Every Sunday with the kid. Like where they do Welcome back to the Shooter Shack. As always, Pat Gregoire here with none other than Brett McConaughey, aka the Shooter. And Brett, last time we were here, we had our Super Bowl special. You said Super Bowl 51 had the potential to be an instant classic, one of the greatest Super Bowls we've ever seen, and I think it lived up to the hype. The huge comeback for Tom Brady and the Patriots, but on the flip side, you could say it was an absolute collapse by the Falcons. Was this a bigger comeback for the Patriots or an absolute choke job by the Falcons? Well, Patty, it's a little bit of A and a whole lot of B. This is going down in history as the biggest choke job, the most epic collapse, choking on the salty truth, whatever you want to call it. You got a 25-point lead, up 28-3 to with under two minutes left in the third quarter, and you piss it all away. It just can't be happening like that as an offensive coordinator. All you got to do is run the ball. I don't care if you go three and out and have to punt it every single time. You're going to kill enough clock where you're going to make it a lot tougher on Tom Brady and the Patriots to come back and stick it to you. I can't believe. I've been watching the film all week, and there is multiple times that game should have ended. Julio Jones makes that catch. That should be the end of the game. You should run the ball twice, kick a field goal, and Bob's your uncle. But that didn't happen. So like you said, this is going to be the biggest collapse in all of sports history, and I'm just glad we got to watch it on a Sunday. Comeback, collapse, whatever you may call it, I think this win for Tom Brady changes the conversation from not just greatest quarterback of all time, but to greatest player of all time. Well, in my opinion, Patty, he is not only the greatest quarterback of all time, but he is the greatest NFL player of all time. Five Super Bowl rings. There is not another guy that has ever accomplished this feat. He is just incredible to watch. He's the GOAT. He's the one you want with the pigskin. And in my opinion, he's going to go down in history as the greatest football player of all time. Well, another NFL season in the books, meaning we're going to switch our attention to the NHL here. And if you're a Leafs fan, you got to be pretty happy right now. They're sitting in a playoff spot. The East is so tight right now, but Mike Babcock has this young team playing so good. Brett, the big question right here is, can the young guns of the Toronto Maple Leafs do enough to push them into the postseason? Well, that's a great question, Patty. And the way these young kids are playing right now, anything can happen. Three of their top five scorers are rookies. We got Mitch Marner leading the charge with 46 points. Austin Matthews, 44 points, but he's leading the team with 25 goals. And then sitting in fifth, you got William Nylander. He's got himself 36 points. These guys are playing some good hockey right now. And you can tell they have bought into the system that Mike Babcock has implemented. And every single night, they're competing. The goaltending, it can be hot, it can be cold. But when it's hot, I think they got a great opportunity to make the playoffs. Now, the question is, once you get there, how important is experience? And we've seen that in other sports. We saw it on Super Bowl Sunday. The Patriots have been there before. Look what happens. But at the end of the day, I think the Leafs have what it takes to get there. It's just a matter of how far they can go. Well, I mean, if you look at it right now, the Leafs would be matched up against the Ottawa Senators in that first round. And well, historically, we know what happens when the Buds and the Sens meet in the playoffs. Usually, it's Toronto coming out on top in the Battle of Ontario. But we'll see lots of hockey to be played. And I mean, you look at that Eastern Conference, it is as tight as can be. Brett, we talked about the Leafs already fighting for that playoff spot. Is there a team who's looking outside right now that could possibly squeeze in? Well, I couldn't have said it better myself, Patty. The Eastern Conference is so tight. I think it's eight points from 6th to 16th. There are so many teams here that are knocking at the door. But one team that has surprised a lot of teams this year is the Carolina Hurricanes. They have came to play night in, night out, and beat some great hockey teams. They're playing really well in front of ex-Stanley Cup winner Cam Ward. And head coach Bill Peters has done a great job putting the team on the ice that competes night in and night out. And you got Skinner and Rask leading the charge offensively with 37 and 32 points each respectively. But when it comes to having a playoff push and making a deep run, you got to have experience and that is definitely needed. But today we got a guy that is a Carolina Hurricane that has a boatload of experience winning two Stanley Cups 
we want to welcome Brian Bickle to the Shooter Shack. All right, guys, we got a special guest joining us here today at the Shooter Shack. We got two time Stanley Cup champion Brian Bickle on the phone with us. Bixie, thanks so much for joining us. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, it's a little chilly down in Raleigh. Usually it's uh, about the 70s, but uh, in the 40s it's a little different weather, but uh, it's going good. Well, that's great to hear, Bixie. I mean, it can't be any worse than up here. We are sitting here in about a foot and a half of snow, but we cannot thank you enough for joining us. So let's go ahead and start this off and rewind the tape a few years back to 2010 when you were with the Blackhawks for four games in the playoffs but you didn't get the Stanley Cup ring or your name engraved on the cup. Three years later, 2013, you finally get it done and you have that big ring and your name engraved on Lord Stanley for the rest of your life. How was that experience for you? Um, it was it was huge, um, you know, going through the motions in 2010 but not getting my name on the, on the cup was, uh, you know, something to drive for. And then, you know, the 2013 year was a, a lockout season, um, you know, being over in Europe for three months and not knowing if we're going to have a season or if we're going to play hockey in the NHL that year, then, um, you know, having the year that we had and then, you know, for me to carry in the playoffs and being a big part in 2013 um, it was a huge moment. And, um, you know, I've always got to have that for the rest of my life. It was a dream come true to, to see what they go through and to, to live it and to experience it, it was, uh, you, you couldn't beat it. Well, just two years later, 2015, the Chicago Blackhawks win another Stanley Cup. Unfortunately, you weren't in the lineup due to injury, but nonetheless, winning on home ice had to be really special. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can you know beat your first, but um, it was nice to win at home on home ice and, and the way we did. I know... Uh, you know, I wasn't dressed up in the finals of due to her injury, but um, you know, to win at home in the front of our fans uh, that support us, and you can see the you know pictures from parades and, and things like that. How many the fan support we had in Chicago was uh, it was huge, but um, to win at home ice, it was um, it was nice to have all your friends and family there to, to experience the moment with you, and um, you know, it's uh, it's something that uh, I've always got to have the rest of my life. Well, that must have been an incredible feeling, Bixie. And then we go ahead and fast forward the tape again. How was your mindset when the Blackhawks traded you to the Carolina Hurricanes? Um, it was like a little reset button. You know, it was disappointing. Um, you know, I got drafted in, in 04 by the Hawks and to be part of their, you know, team and their, and work up my way up through the minors and for almost 10 years and then getting traded in the summer. Um, you know, it was tough, but uh, it was a reset button. Um, personally to you know have a good start and give this Carolina team a, a push to, to make the playoffs um, you know we've had a couple speed bumps uh, along the way with uh, the diagnose uh, but um, we're getting close to get back on the ice and ideal help out the, the Hurricanes. Well you mentioned that speed bump can you tell us what exactly was going through your mind when you found out that you were diagnosed with MS? You know, I didn't, you know, I knew something wasn't right. And then the doc tells me that you have MS. And I'm like, what is MS? Really, when I really, when he told me. So then over the, you know, couple of days, you kind of, you research more and more about it. And um, you learn, um, you know, it was tough. But, um, you know, for us to, to be where we were three months ago to where we are now, it's, um, you know, a 180 flip. So it's a... Uh, it's on a progress of, you know, ideal to get back on the ice and end the good health. And um, that's where we are right now. And, um, you know, it's tough at the moment, but, um, you know, we moved on. Well, that's great to hear, Bixie. We're glad that the body is responding well to it. How's everything else going training wise, trying to get back into game shape? And are you still eyeing the return at the end of this month? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, in a couple of weeks to the end of the month, it would be a shooting goal for me and um, for the doctors to, you know, look over to, to find out, you know, that's a good time for me to return. I know it was expected to be longer, but um, with the progress that it's gone through and the, the positive feedback of uh, with the, the, the drugs that I've been taking that, would, you know, it accepts to my body. So it's, uh, it's moving in the right direction. Um, you know, we're just going to get that okay. And, you know, hopefully, you know, in a couple of weeks or so that uh, I could be back on the ice uh, wearing a Kings uniform. Well, that's unbelievable, Bixie. We're definitely in your corner for the comeback, all of us here at the Shooter Shack. But before we let you go, we got one more question for you. 
Can you tell us a little bit about the Brian and Amanda Bickle Foundation, how it started, and how our viewers can go online and donate to such a great cause? Yeah, so me and my wife, um, about five, six years ago, um, started a, the Brian and Bickle Foundation. Um, you know, we rescued a, a pit bull breed dog um, in Ontario, which, you know, the, they have a ban in Ontario, and then we we moved to Chicago, and then we saw the, you know, the problem that we had in Chicago um, with that, uh, you know that type of dog so then we you know we just uh, find these dogs uh, fix them get them all their their needed shots and then you know find forever homes and um, lately we've the last couple of years we partnered up with the Hesper house on the south side um, for abused kids so we kind of work on the same line where these dogs were abused these kids were abused and they kind of um, help them kind of uh, you know work each other and kind of realize, you know, they're in a similar situation that uh, they can find forever homes and so can these kids. Um, so that's what uh, our foundation now we're working with, um, we're setting a new thing that's going to work with fallen firefighters and fallen uh, policemen um, and now maybe with MS um, patients, um, you know, for, for dogs that, uh, you know, can help out uh, MS uh, people. Well, Bixie, that's unbelievable. The foundation is a great cause. You guys are doing great things down there. Everybody back home in Ontario is rooting for you. Down here at the Shooter Shack, we're rooting for the comeback. Make sure you guys go to the website. We're going to have it posted right at the bottom of the screen. We have made a donation on behalf of the Shooter Shack, and we're going to continue to promote what you guys are doing. It's a great story, great guy, and we wish you nothing but the best. So thanks a lot for Brian Bickle for joining us today, and we can't thank you enough. Thanks to you guys. Well, folks, just because the NFL season is done doesn't mean old Uncle Shooter here can't win you some cash. We've got the NBA, the NHL, college hoops, and pitchers and catchers are reporting to spring training this weekend, meaning the MLB season is just right around the corner. So head to the shootershack.ca and get your investment package today. Well, that's a great point, Patty. And just because I'm not giving out free picks on the video anymore doesn't mean that I'm not the number one professional handicapper in the world today. Hey, head to the website, theshootershack.ca, buy an investment package, and let's make you a few scoops. I got to thank a few of my sponsors, Wilkins the Barber, the number one barber in the GTA, and he is the one you want with the Clippers. The Royal Oak Whippy North at Garden and Taunton have always been a big supporter of the Shack. They got amazing food, great drink specials, and the staff is just delightful to work with. Head into the Royal Oak today and drop the word shooter for 10% off all your bills. I want to thank our friends at JC Storage Solutions. They solve all your storage needs. They supply, deliver, install, and engineer all industrial pallet racking steel shelving systems. Give them a shout today at 416-565-1196. Have you been charged with a DUI or a criminal offense? Perhaps you got a pass that you would like a pardon for. HW Legal Support Services can help. Contact them today at 647-760. 3722 for a free consultation. And our good friends down at Muscle Milk, we cannot thank you guys enough. We're showing off your product and your sponsor in the Shooter Shack. There is nothing better after a tough workout than putting this right down into the barrel. And guys, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It is right at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you go ahead and do that. Follow me and the Shooter Shack on all of the social media platforms. We can't thank you guys enough for joining us. We want to thank Brian Bickle for stopping in this week. Patty, it's always a pleasure. As and we'll always. see you guys next week.